guys, I'm curling my hair today. I'm using my rotating curling iron to do a 1950s to the best of my ability. So how is everybody's day? Mine is very good. I spent some time with family. Okay. I'm trying my best to get every hair curled. I know I could achieve this with hot curlers, but today I'm just in a really big hurry. Now yeah, I'm just curling the hair and making sure everything is curled and ready for tomorrow. Let's put that down for a minute. I know it's probably not like there, but we'll get there. Yeah, my aunt came over today and we were supposed to have coffee, but then a family emergency happened and we all had to be here for that. So... Yeah, we had to be, there was a little bit of a family situation. My aunt, not the aunt that came over, but my other aunt shredded her tire really bad because there's construction where I live and yeah. The only bad, bad thing about this curling iron is that it is, when you have very thick hair, it does, we're all getting ready for bed, but I promise y'all, um, the 1950s.
just getting the silk curled. I know I am not a hairstylist. I know it looks crazy right now, but bear with the process. If you bear with the process, you will be good. I know this looks weird, but I'm sectioning the hair to the best of my abilities, and if I section it, it would be better. hand but that's the price of beauty homies And I am just gonna finish my hair so that way it will be poofed and ready for I'm That hurt. It's already forming a luster. Ow. 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 Yeah. 
apparently it's not holding the curl today, so I'll have to get my curl stuff, but yeah. And maybe I may have to wait until my hair's a little bit longer. Maybe not today. I'm gonna try a different tool. That's probably what I need. Or a life. Ouch. try this one today. Oh yay, this is gonna be fun. Hope it's less painful. Okay, we are going to use my, and I'm going to get it really hot, and we're going to do a skincare routine. I'm going to change it up and do it with this instead of with the rotating curling iron today because we are not having any luck. going to kind of, without burning myself,
Uh, yeah, we're co it's coming together. Ouch, ouch, ouch.
So here we go, finished here, just kind of like a little housewife. I know I didn't curl it, but today my hair is just not taking the curl. I burnt myself earlier and I was trying not to touch it. So each time I was saying, ow, 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 but I was trying to be quiet in the video. Um, I do want to let you know, I am going to repaint my no nails real quick and do a face um, skincare routine for you guys. I'm also going to tomorrow dress up in a 1950s outfit for you guys. So we're gonna be doing more vintage content moving forward. Um, I get this question a lot, am I married? And let me answer this. I'm going to be very honest. No, I am not married. I just love the aesthetic and um, the feel of the 1950s and 60s and 40s and things like that. Um, back then, our family values were a little bit different. And uh, yeah, so I'm just finishing up my hair. I used a crimper curler thing but my hair today I guess does not want to do what I want it to so we're just letting it do what it wants yeah so So yeah, let's just get my hair ready for tomorrow and whatever happens. Yeah, so we are just crimping the hair, or doing as best we can with the hairstyle I have, and yeah, oh, son of a goose monkey, <laughs> but yes, this is what not to do when doing a hair tutorial, I've already burnt myself, yes, that hurt. <clears throat> But yes, guys, so we are going to redo my nails um, and we are going to, I've had about 17,000 cups of coffee today. So today's nail polish, I did reorder cherries in this, oops, <laughs> okay, give, give me one minute. I'll have to get some nail plush remover, but that was the ouch. 
So we're just gonna do two coats and refresh. I know I'm doing this really fast and I know I cut my nails really short, but they were long. And when I was cutting them, I did it real late at night so I could hurry because I had somewhere to be. So yeah, I'm just getting my nails repainted for work tomorrow. At least I don't have to work the full shift, but we are going to dinner, so I'm trying to get ready and get going. I may have to do my hot curlers, but I don't, last time I tried to plug them in, they didn't act like they were working. So that was just kind of the thing I had to deal with. Yes, the other day when I tried to use them on my, you know, at my birthday dinner, um, I used them off camera, but, um, yeah, they didn't work, but hoping this works. So I'm just retouching up my nails, sticking with the red, but yeah. My vintage housewife videos are just for entertainment. They are not to offend anybody if they have. I want to say sorry. Um. Many people have asked what, on my channel, what I have done since I've graduated high school. People have asked if I have graduated high school. Yes, I graduated in 2008. So, I did graduate high school. I want to say it's been about 14, 15 years ago. Um, yeah. So I've been out of high school a long minute. I am 33 years old. I am a college student. I'm working on my business degree and my psychology degree, and I am dual majored. Um, I will be graduating with my MBA in business um, in 2026. And my other degree will take a little bit longer because there's other stuff I have to do. And eventually, I would love to go to med school. Yeah. So, that is what my game and goal is. in the name of my game is to finish college. I work full time. Um, I love my job. They work with me with my school schedule. I've never had a complaint. Yesterday, I had a migraine and I had to leave abruptly, but they worked with my schedule. Um, they treat me like they would treat anybody else. I don't get treated differently because I have scoliosis. <laughs> That's what one person asked in a comment. Um, on one of my social medias, no, they do not treat me any different. I 
I have also had other people ask why I don't go to a nail salon and because I am celiac disease or I have celiac disease and I've had it for a number of years it's just not feasible to go to a um, nail salon because you don't know the chemicals they use if it could have gluten or something else I am allergic to. Um, so I just am very cautious of where I go. And sometimes um, with my chosen profession, they won't let you wear nails when you go into med school, so. So I am after my nails dry. And this is the nail polish I used, by the way, and it is the Fast Gel Maybelline, and it is the shade. It didn't say the name. Hey, let me see. Rebel Red. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. So, that is what it's called. And I'm just putting that on real quick. I may, you know, use some nail polish to get off the excess in a minute. I'm just waiting for it to go through. So, a little bit about me also. I am allergic to gluten. I have talked about it previously on my channel. When I turned 21, I was two days after turning 21, we had gone out to celebrate and we had gone to a place in my hometown called Midnight Rodeo. Um, it is no longer Midnight Rodeo, it is a church now. Um, and we ended up going there and we ended up going, you know, out and two days after that, we, I, my mom had put on a pot of beans and I was extremely hungry because I had done a lot of housework that day and I ate the entire thing of beans. So we ended up having to go out to eat to a restaurant in my hometown, no longer there, but we had gone out to eat. And my mom noticed that I started swelling real bad, so she gave me some Benadryl. Um, two days later, I went to a doctor's appointment and they had diagnosed me with celiac disease because I was explaining to her my symptoms. And over time, I got an allergy of peanut butter that I couldn't have that for a while. Um, now I can eat peanut butter, which is the strangest thing. And I had different allergies and different things that were not always great. So I've had um, for about nine, eight years now, I've been dealing out with celiac disease. So that also includes like makeup I use. I have to be really, really, really super duper careful. Um, things I use for skincare, I have to be super duper careful. So um, I just try to be as cautious as I can, especially when dealing with certain things in dealing with food or skincare or makeup 
and I try to be careful even like lotions or certain things I use in my hair I have to be 100% careful so with that said I put about two more coats on this so this should and it's like a fast gel without the UV light so I wanted something red I did order cherries in the snow and I did order Rev Revlon red from Revlon and um, nail polish and I used uh, got another nail polish from and when it comes in the mail I will show y'all but once this dries I will do a part two because this video is getting kind of long and any questions you may have you can ask down below in the comments. Um, I will be doing a Q&A. You can also ask questions on my Snapchat which is Topanga Jameson one word. My Instagram is life life with Topanga and y'all can catch me here. I usually make videos on Mondays, Tuesdays, but this week has been <laughs> kind of fun because I didn't really get to do as many videos because Migraine City came in effect and it has just been fun. But I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a part two. I will put it out tonight so you will get two videos today. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. You can hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. I did order some more 1950 stuff, so I'm excited for that to come in the mail and I will do a little haul. Bye guys.